A legal battle against a school district on Long Island accused of ignoring bullying takes another step forward. And today, a family claiming their 13 year old was bullied and had suicidal thoughts is now filing a legal complaint. Jody Goldberg walks us through this latest allegation. Three incidents involving students in the Central Islip School District have left some parents wondering why administrators are turning their backs to bullying. The school is doing nothing, zero, to help these kids. The latest allegations launched against the district involve a 13-year-old girl whose family says repeated no. threats from bullies resulted in suicidal thoughts. Her parents shared this text message with us where she says she'll go away and they claim their daughter was so traumatized she brought Mace to school. She was spit on in the hall. She was assaulted in the hall. She was cursed at. She was she was pushed around. On Thursday, attorney Ken Mullins filed a complaint with the Division of Human Rights and a notice of claim alleging negligence, discrimination, and seeking damages. They have a psychologist. They have a social worker. They have guidance counselors. What are they doing in that school? Fights like this one, according to some parents, take place often. Joe Salamone with the Long Island Coalition Against Bullying says it's not isolated to just central Islip. Unresolved issues that came from what we were going through uh, during the pandemic, the lack of connectiveness, uh, lack of dealing properly with their emotions. The district is now busing this student 45 minutes away to another school where her parents say she's doing better. Now, they, along with other families who plan to file suit, say it's not about the money. It's about changing the culture and making schools safer. The school have an obligation to educate and protect. Mullen says he has received more than 20 calls in the past month from parents and teachers alleging similar issues. While the district, for their part, isn't commenting pending litigation, a spokesperson does say schools have implemented several anti-bullying and tolerance initiatives and do take all reasonable measures to safeguard its students. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.